Every nation has eating habits that are characteristic of the culture, history and feelings of their people. Foodstuffs used in different countries may vary considerably and are peculiar to a, a particular nation's tastes. Shape turning centuries. In the old days, Estonian meals consisted mainly of bread and several types of cereals. Other foodstuffs, especially from animals as meat, mostly salted, fish, dried, salted and fresh, and butter, were called something to eat with bread. Milk and dairy products were used very little. Butter was churned in the milking period and then preserved with salt for the autumn and winter. Bee, bean, lentil, grits and meal soups formed the big part in Estonian's meals. Also porridges from different cereals were appreciated. In the spring and summer, soups were made from young goat wheat, stinking nettles, sorrels and even from thistles, mushrooms, berries, nuts and all wood products, either fresh or salted and pickled, were used extensively. A beverage made from sack which was extracted in the spring, was made to last until the end of the summer. To sweeten food and drink, Estonians used honey. Festive dishes included sausages made of goats, while sausages without blood in northern Estonia and blood pudding in southern Estonia, pork head, pork and jelly meat or cold meat that was boiled with bones, Pies were made with different fillings for drinks Estonians brewed, beer and mead. Beer was usually made of barley malt. Mead was boiled from water and honey and then left to ferment. Wash the dried beans and soak in cold water for 7 to 9 hours. Put in a pot together with soaked water, add the clean meat and bring to a boil. Skim off the scum, add the sauerkraut, chopped onions and salt. Cook at low temperature. With the pork you may serve grated raw carrots. Squeeze the curd through the sieve. Bring the milk to boil, add the curd and heat until the milk separates. Place the curd in the sieve to drain. Melt the butter, add the curd, season with salt and blend until the mixture is evenly distributed. Add the beaten eggs and cumin seeds. Put the mixture into a tin dipped in a cold water or muslin or cheesecloth and give it a round shape. Let it mature in a cool dry place. Wash the barley and put into hot water. Boil at low temperature. When the barley has swelled, add the seasoning and diced pork. Stir once and then stew. Do not stir the porridge while stewing, as it should be grainy. When the porridge is ready, allow it to cool. Then add the onion chopped and heated in the butter. The strained blood and slightly browned diced pork fat. Fill the bowels with the porridge not too full. Tie the ends of the bowels and boil in water, slightly seasoned with salt. Depending on the bowels thickness, heat slowly for 10 to 15 minutes and only to boiling point, or the bowels will burst. Take out the water and place side by side to cool. Air can be released by sticking the sausages with a fork or toothpick. Grease a pan, place the sausages into the pan. On the top and sides, Put the slices of pork fat, bake in the oven, serve with whortleberry jam or pumpkin salad. Wash the meat, place in a cold water and bring to a boil. As the water boils, skim off the scum. Let it simmer at a low temperature. After cooking the meat for about one hour, add the onion, garlic clove and carrots. 
Carrot slices should be lightly browned in a dry pan. Top and tail the onion. Simmer at a low temperature until the meat comes off the bone. Add salt and the spices 10 to 15 minutes before the meat is cooked. With a sharp knife, cut the meat into pieces, mix with the strained stock and bring to a boil for a moment. Season. Put in bowls or basins and place in a cold refrigerator to set. Serve with hot boiled potatoes, pumpkin salad and mustard or horseradish. Soak the dried fish, put the meat, slices, fish, flour and seasoning in a pot or casserole dish. Add the water and cover with the bread dough. Press the dough edges well onto the pot so that the steam cannot get out. Put in the oven and roast. Serve with hot potatoes. Boil the sauerkraut in a little water, add the washed barley and meat, stew until soft, stirring every now and then. Finally add salt. To serve, place the sauerkraut with the sliced meat in a bowl. Garnish with tomatoes and chopped herbs. Serve with boiled potatoes. Whisk the sour milk, add the baking powder, salt, syrup, ground spices and half of the flour. Add the cream, butter, sugar and the rest of the flour. Knee. Shape into round buns and garnish with dough, ribbons or press a pattern on the top. Allow to rise, then spread and bake. Wash the apples and remove the cores without making a hole in the bottom. Mix the sugar, honey and cinnamon together. Put a spoonful of the sweet mixture into every apple. Melt the butter and pour into apples in equal quantities. Bake the apples at 200 degrees for 10 minutes. Serve hot with vanilla ice cream. Kama is a traditional Estonian drink which can be made by stirring 3 or 4 teaspoons of kama flour which is a mixture of ground rye, wheat, barley and peas in a glass of buttermilk, kefir, yogurt or sour milk. Add sugar, honey, berries or salt to taste. <laughs> 